What's up, nail crew? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a fill on Muffin's nails. This is her old set. I'm gonna go ahead and file them off off camera just to save time, and then we'll get into the fill. And it's, it might be a little different on the nail. That's nice. You like that one? Black. You don't like that one? It's too bright. Okay. No, that's pink. All right, so you don't like this one. I'll just do that. You just like that one? Okay. Fine with me. And white. And white? Look, how many nails white? We could alternate it because you know I'm good for alternating some stuff. You want any of that glow in the dark? No. You want any ombre? No, I just get, well, maybe the middle one, but only white and orange. White and orange. Like orange, white, and then the ombre, and then orange, white, and what's the white can have the chrome powder? White like can have chrome powder. Okay. That's not white. No, that's clear. Oh my gosh, y'all. I finally found my white acrylic. So I have like a little plastic cabinet right behind me where I sit. And I have all my acrylics organized. So on the top shelf, it's glitter dip powder and glitter acrylic. Second shelf is colored acrylics and colored dip powder. Third shelf is clear and da, 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 the other shelf i don't gels or something like that so anyway i'm like digging through digging through like where is my white because i know i have white from tammy taylor from young nails and from enail couture so where is my white y'all finally i found it but i had to stall her out and talk to her about random stuff like girl you want some glow in the dark i know good and well muffin don't want glow in the dark you know she told me specifically what she wants i want orange and then she threw in the white that's it period <laughs> she get mad at me because every time i do her nails she always says ma every time i tell you one thing you always do your own thing which is true which is true she sits down she tells me what she wants and i just go left but today, I said, I'm going to do right. I'm going to do right. So, muff, muffin, muff duff, muffin duffin. Tell me what you want. She told me she wants orange. So, you saw me test out all the oranges I had. And I even tried to give her glitter with orange. Like, orange glitter. She said, no. <laughs> Very clear, no. So, anyway, I tested the oranges that she that I had, and she wanted the one from Unapologetic Nails. I tell you, everybody love Unapologetic Nails. Y'all think I'm just going hard for her because she's a young entrepreneur, small business such as myself. But, no, I'm really going hard for her because her acrylics are dope, you know. I really love it. And she don't pay me a coin. She don't give me a coin to say I love it. <laughs> Nothing like that. Although, my darling, if you watch it, and I say this every time, if y'all watching, hey, my PayPal and Cash App information will be in the description box below. <laughs> Feel free <laughs> to drop a coin. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, okay, seriously, let me get back to the nail. So, Muffin just wanted orange, and then at the last minute, she threw it in white. I personally feel like that is a weird combination. I would never pick out orange and white. Never, never, never. That's just, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's, no. <laughs> I can't even think of anything cute to do with orange and white. A swirl is not going to be cute. Mm -mm. I'm going to give her an ombre because that's what she wants, but typically, y'all, this is not this no this is not where i would go orange and white no orange and black maybe on halloween and that's it 
Um, and then she also wants chrome powder because if you notice on my finger, on my thumb and my middle finger, I have chrome powder. She saw that and she said, oh, I like that. I want some chrome. So she's going to get this orange and white combination and then she's going to get chrome. We're going to keep it simple because her last few sets were over the top for her. For me, they were normal. For her, they was like, whoo, oh my. So we're going to keep it simple, simple, simple. So what I did was I laid a very thin layer of clear acrylic. The clear acrylic that I'm using is from my personal kit. It is called the Almond Stiletto Kit and I have a large kit. I'm going to put the contents of the large kit here because people keep asking me about it and I thought I was clear of what was in it, but maybe not. So I'm going to put a picture right here of everything that's in the large kit. And then I also had a lot of you ask me about what if you don't need everything in a large kit? What if you don't need that? What if you just want this, this, this? So I made a mini kit, y'all, and I wasn't going to make a mini kit. I didn't want to make a mini kit, but I had so many of you guys request a mini kit with just the monomer and the acrylic. So I did that. But then I also threw in the primer because the primer is really good. So I threw in the primer and, and I also threw in a cuticle oil because y'all need to be using cuticle oil twice a day twice a day okay so in the mini kit you're going to get i'm just going to put a picture i'll put a picture but you'll get the monomer the acrylic the primer and the cuticle oil okay and it's 35 dollars right now and that includes shipping and handling okay i ain't making no money off of this y'all because i love y'all okay i love y'all but 35 dollars, and that includes shipping and handling now that is for in the u.s if you live international yeah you could definitely pay extra for shipping and handling if you want to, of course, of course. But I know depending on where you live, it is kind of expensive. If you're curious about shipping costs, the mini kit weighs about a pound or maybe less than a pound. So you can see how much it'll cost to ship from the U.S. to your country. If you're willing to pay that, hit me up in my DM on Instagram. And then the large kit weighs about two pounds. So you could do the same for that as well. Um, so right now you see me looking in my dappin' dish, y'all, and it's cloudy. That's the bad thing about using white acrylic because it does make the monomer very, very cloudy. So yeah. So a good tip for you guys to do if you're using white is to lay all the other colors first, especially if they're lighter colors. Lay all of those first and then come back and do the white just because it does make the monomer a lot cloudy not even a little bit cloudy a lot cloudy so obviously you can't really do that with ombre because with my ombre i like to go the light color the dark color the light color the dark color like i like to blend it in a, in there a little bit uh, more than most people so i'll go back and forth with the colors and that's just the way that i like to get a good blend but anyway she has her orange and white nails and you know what she looks like a candy corn y'all muffin got her some candy corn nails <laughs> oh my gosh this girl got her some candy corn nails but you know what it don't matter what it looks like to me she's happy this is what she wanted this was her creative vision what can I say? You know, she likes it. And when I throw on that chrome powder, I don't think the white and the orange will be so distinct. I think the chrome powder will just let it blend in a little bit more. But hey, you know what? She's happy. And that's all that matters. So anyway, after I was done laying all the color, I went back through with my acrylic, my clear acrylic, and just capped everything in. Now I'm going to go in with my hand file and just perfect the shape just a little bit. She wants some square, but I always just taper her square just a little bit um i just feel like a little tapered square so it's, it's okay you know it's okay to just do a little tapered square but not too much because she does not want stiletto this time and she does not want coffin she just wanted a square <laughs> and i'm trying my hardest not to be the mama that just does whatever she wants i'm trying to give her what she wants you know anyway i meant to tell you guys i got a notebook i don't know why i didn't put it on instagram i should have posted it i normally post everything on my instagram stories y'all if you don't follow me on instagram follow me on instagram link will be in the description box below but anyway remember i said i was gonna get me a sketch notebook well i got one i got a sketch notebook and i got some color pencils and then i found some old markers i think the markers were muffins or whatever but anyway so i have my sketchbook and i have like oh my gosh i, I 
ah, I'm ready to go. I have me some pencils. I'm excited. So I'm going to start drawing out my nail art, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, I need to keep it in the car with me because sometimes this is crazy, but, and I know it's unsafe to do. I know it's unsafe to do this, but this is just, you know, sometimes I just do it. So I like to sit in solitude sometimes because my house is always crazy, right? I like to sit in solitude. So I sit in the car, y'all. Sometimes I sit in the car right outside in my driveway, right outside in my own driveway, lock the doors and just, just chill out. But sometimes like before work or after work, like I don't want to go home just then, I'll find a nice quiet spot and I just park and I just like chill out you know I'm not necessarily meditating but I'm just like tuning the world out so in that time I could pull out my sketch pad and I could start drawing and stuff I'm excited about it I forgot to show you guys my notebook on Instagram but I got muff one as well and so we're gonna have a drawing club so I was telling her muff we're gonna have a drawing club blah 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 and she got excited about it she's like okay well what are we gonna draw and I said I'm gonna draw nail stuff she said I'm out <laughs> Mom said, no, that's stupid. I'm out. <laughs> I said, Mom, you could draw whatever you want in your book. I'm going to draw what I want in my book. And she didn't want that. As a drawing club, she wanted us to sit and draw the same thing. And I get that. I get that. So what I might do, y'all, oh my gosh. What I might do is get another notebook. I got to think about it. Either I'm going to get another notebook just for my random drawings that me and her could do, or I might use the same notebook, but flip it to the back. Like the front part will be my nail art. The back part can be random stuff. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, my next video, I think I'm going to pull the notebook out for you guys so you can see it. Maybe what I will do, ooh, maybe what I'll do is pull the notebook out and then just draw some stuff you know record myself drawing some nail art y'all and it's gonna be so crazy when I first do it because I don't have any ideas like that's I don't have any ideas of what to draw <laughs> but I'm hoping when I get the pencils out and the color pencils and the markers out uh, I feel like well, I'm hoping that I'll get some nail ideas. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys because I got it the other day and I was so excited. I meant to put it on Instagram in my stories and then I totally forgot. Whew! Yes, little things make me happy. I'm literally smiling from ear to ear talking about a notebook and some, and some color pencils like I'm in kindergarten. <laughs> that my life y'all my life anyway okay y'all told me oh my gosh you guys saw me struggle putting on chrome powder on my nails and you guys told me that I over cured so you guys all said only cure the nails for 20 seconds y'all blessed my life with that information y'all truly blessed my life so here's how you do it if you guys still don't know how to put on chrome powder because I currently am a chrome powder professional so here we go you put the clear no white top coat on your nails you cure it for 20 seconds some top coats, maybe even 15, but definitely no more than 20 seconds, okay? That way it's cured, it's a nice slick surface, but it still has a little bit of stickiness to it so that the chrome powder sticks to it. My last video where I did chrome powder on my own nails, honey, I cured them for 60 seconds and the chrome powder wouldn't stick. It was sliding right off which was causing me to waste a lot of chrome powder and waste time. But you guys really blessed my life by letting me know that trick. Thank you. I appreciate that 100,000%. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. So anyway, so after that, you have to seal in the chrome powder. Okay. So I am sealing it in with some very cheap no wipe top coat. I got this from Walmart like years ago, okay? So I'm sealing it in with that one and then 
once that one is cured for a full 60 seconds, then I'll go on top and seal everything in with my PND no wipe top coat because this one is very shiny. Now, the reason why I use two different top coats when I'm doing this is the first one, the one that I said wasn't that good, that one has glitter in it. I don't want to put glitter in my PND top coat. So that's why I use that last after all the glitter has been sealed in. So I cured that for a full 60 seconds and Muffin is ready to go, honey. She said she likes them. She said this is what she wanted and she likes them. So listen, I know orange and white is not the ideal, you know, nails. <laughs> Unless we're eating candy coins, like this is not an ideal color combination. Um, it's giving me like sherbet vibes, right? Like a good sherbet. But anyway, she likes them and she's happy. I'm adding my cuticle oil. This is a cuticle oil that comes in both of my acrylic kits. So you will definitely get one of these. And this is what my darling muffin looks like. I think they're cute because once you add the chrome powder, the white and the orange, it's not a bold contrast. It kind of blends in and it really doesn't look bad. When it's all said and done, it really doesn't look bad, the color coming. You go, Muffin. You knew what you were doing, Muffin. Mwah, I love you, my Muff Duff. All right, guys, that is it. That is it. That is it. Thank you guys for rocking with me until the end. And here are some more videos for you guys to watch. Bye.